Hi everybody, my name is Steve Barrett, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of PR Week. Delighted to be here with Cathy Cripps, who's President of the Council of PR Firms, or maybe I should say the PR Council now, Cathy. That's a little bit about what we're going to talk about. Council's gone through a rebranding process. We're going to find out what the thinking was behind that and what that's going to mean for the organisation and for agencies moving forward. So welcome, Cathy. Thanks very much, Steve. Tell us all about that, firstly. What, what's actually happened? You've, you've rebranded, um, got a new logo, but there's a lot more to it than that. And tell us about the thinking behind the, the new name and the new look and feel. Okay, absolutely. So we're still officially the Council of PR Firms, but our shorthand, as you say, our shorthand name is the PR Council. We really started this process almost a year ago, and it was in combination with member surveys and some meetings with our members, just talking about how the business was changing and what that implied for the, for the council. As the trade association for the agencies, we need to be servicing the members, and since their business is changing so much, it meant that we needed to assess how we could change and how we could support them in in their growth. So. so what are the big issues that were lying behind that uh, decision? There was talk about having a more of a focus about broadening the people that you're going to target. So CMOs being much more of a target now for agencies, for example. And even, I think under discussion at one point, was maybe even dropping the term PR from the name. Think, tell us a little bit about okay, that. Sure. So as we started thinking about this idea of a different positioning for the council. We knew it had to involve clients because a lot of what we do right now really focuses on agency management. But if you look at their businesses and how the businesses are changing, they're adding so many new capabilities and they're reaching out to different stakeholders. In one of our surveys, we asked them, who was your, your number one client now? And it's the marketing department. It's the CMO and the CMO staff. They're still obviously very, very involved with chief communications officers, but marketing has become a bigger target for them. And when we look at what we do as a trade association, we didn't feel we were doing enough to speak to the clients on behalf of the member agencies. So that's the target of our new rebrand, is really to reach clients. Now it's not just marketing, because a lot of our members do work with business to business clients, with uh, as I said, chief communications officer, procurement obviously as a client. So it's really looking at what we do to be more externally focused to reach those different stakeholders. So what are the concrete things you're going to do over the next 12 months, say, to open up that uh, agenda and widen that audience? The first thing we need to do is go on an input tour. That's what we are starting uh, in a couple of weeks. We'll be going to the individual markets, meeting with our members, and talking about how they think we can get to their clients in a better way. And um, making some other resources available, some additional training. We do some, what I'll call a mini MBA program right now. Um, we'll probably expand those kind of business programs that we do for the members. Also making other types of resources available, whether it's, it's video, um, things like that. But the big thing externally that we wanna do is to connect with more clients. So we'll be looking at the types of, I'll call them vertical groups that can help the agencies interact with the clients more. Some people said you should have dropped PR, um, the agency model is broken. Um, how do you respond to those people and how close did you get to actually dropping PR from the organization? So name? we hired a branding company to help us. We hired the Infinia Group and um, they did some research with CCOs, CMOs and a few procurement people. And what came back to us in a surprising but very um, gratifying way was that PR, public relations, is actually a differentiator. People might not totally understand why, what it means, but that there's something in the way we approach business that's a very positive differentiator. Because obviously marketing is really important now, but PR goes way beyond marketing, doesn't it? It goes into corporate reputation, crisis, CSR, internal investor relations, and it's actually giving counsel where it's not about communicating, it's about business decisions exactly. at a senior level. It could be about not communicating or not doing something. Exactly. Even though a lot of the firms are no longer using PR in their own name, we, we feel that, based on the input from them, that the principles that they uh, work with are still very much based in public relations 
uh, skills and, and the discipline. So in a way, I think we're helping them because they are not going to refer to themselves necessarily as a PR firm, but what they're doing is PR. So we can be out there talking about that and explaining to clients what PR is. So you like. haven't forgotten about the poor old CCO, you know, it might be unfashionable, uh, not the new not, bright shiny thing. Not unfashionable at all, because a lot of organizations, the CCO has tremendous responsibility for corporate reputation, for reputation management, sometimes for employee communications, lots of other things that come under that big basket of PR responsibilities, as you just outlined. So, no, we think very much the CCO is an important client, but we have an opportunity to educate a new client. And we know that in a lot of places, the, the marketing people are new to their jobs, they're new to having responsibility for PR budgets, gives us a great opportunity. All right, well, thanks, Kathy, for explaining a bit more about that. Um, we look forward to following it with interest over the next 12 months. And if you've got any feedback you want to input, uh, send us an email, steve.barrett at prweek.com, and we'll uh, you know, be a forum for this debate over the next 12 months. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you so much, Steve. Appreciate it.